Hi there, so in this video we're going to take a look at GeoJSON files which are a very common, um, very lightweight file structure that um, is commonly used in GIS analysis. I've got a Jupyter Notebook open here and we've imported standard libraries like GeoPandas and Matplotlib. So just a little bit about GeoJSON uh, before we go on. GeoJSON is based on the JSON file format and it's composed of key value pairs, JSON. Um, values can be embedded objects like lists and um, dictionaries or, or objects, other objects. So you can actually have deeply nested structures in your JSON data. GeoJSON actually extends JSON with additional features. We have points, line strings and polygons. This is kind of similar to the vector data that um, the ve vector data types that you get um, in libraries such as GeoPandas. So you, we can read in a GeoJSON file from the file system. Um, all we need to do is set up the path to the file and assert that it exists. And that's what I've done here. Um, I've created, um, created a pathlib.path object and the file is in the data directory and you can see that it's a JSON file. So if we can take a quick look at the file um, I think you can see that. So what we have here is the GeoJSON file that I'm loading in and you can see that it's um, it has this sort of structure, it's a feature collection and each geo uh, feature has a geometry. Um, this one is a multi-polygon with a particular coordinate set and you can see there's actually lots of these coordinates in the data. So this is quite a, a large file, you can scroll a, lot, a long way down. The majority of this is polygons that are defined by uh, continuous um, coordinates that are joined up by lines essentially but we're going to see that in a minute so now that I've got that we can do our standard GeoPandas operations we can um, read file uh, read from the disk so gpd dot read file and we can just pass in the parameter f to get that file and if that works we should be able to look at the head of the geo data frame and it's worked and this is US data for each state in America so now that we've got that we can um, start to do any sort of pandas or geopandas operations on the data frame so for example I can look at the geometry column and that will give me all the shapes that are associated with it if I want to get the first shape which is um, for the state of Alabama um, you just index in with the pandas iloc function and it actually gives you this unique sort of shapely re representation of the multi-polygon that's defined in the GeoPandas data frame. So that's quite an interesting little thing. If you want to see what it is as a string, you can just pass it through the string function. And that will give you the, actually, the actual multi-polygon coordinates, which define the state of Alabama, essentially. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, Jupyter Notebook has this built in where you, when you look at a, a, a geometry object, it actually displays the shape. Um, so far, you know, there's a lot you can do with that. Um, another thing we can do is we can just plot out the whole um, GeoPandas data frame. And if I do that, you see you get this representation. It's not particularly good. You see America here and we may want to make that a little bit bigger for a start. So you can pass in the fig size parameter. This comes from matplotlib. Make it a bit bigger and what you can do, the x limit, if you want to just hone in on America, we can uh, use the plt.xlim function. And let's say the boundaries are between negative 200 and negative 50. And that sort of makes our axis a bit more centered around America, which is pretty Useful. So you can very clearly see the, the states in America, the, the, the boundaries within those states as well. Um, and yeah, there's a lot you can do. Um, we have the geo, the key thing is we've read in a GeoJSON file. We can do anything in pandas now. If I look at the head of that file, we, we see a census area object. So we might want to say what's the largest um, state by area. So you can index into that and you can call the max function and essentially we get that so that's the max area and then we might want to find out what row is that in so gdf census area 
equals max area and that will give us the row which we can see the state with the largest area is Alaska and um, with that particular area there and we can see in the figure above that kind of corresponds to what we expect um, Alaska does look very large in that image so that's another thing we can do okay one one other thing we can do is read in GeoJSON directly from a URL rather than just having it on the file system so we can actually do an HTTP request and I'm going to show you that here just now this github user content has a topo json file which we can then read in um, so I'm going to define a second geo data frame and call the gdp.read uh, it's still the same function read file and you just pass the url in and if that works we should be able to view the head of the data frame and that's worked this is data for the UK not the US so I'd like to now that I know that that's worked I'd like to just, just plot that out you can see that we get the the shapes boundaries of the United Kingdom um, so what, what I do finally is just um, plot these both on one axis the America and UK data um, and we'll give this a bigger fig size and then what we can do is for each geo data frame we just call plot and we pass in the axis object this is actually something you can do, you can pass in the axis object and it will plot it on the same figure um, and we get this kind of, not, not particularly nice but we can do some magic with the plt.xlim function again and we'll say get the boundaries between um, axe.set xlim and it's let's say one, negative 180 to uh, 20 we can see the UK on the right hand side, very small compared to America I'm not sure this is the same coordinate reference system to be honest but basically um, what you can do here is just to show you this you can plot two distinct geo data frames on the same axes just by passing in an axe parameter to each plot call and that will allow you to do that so the key takeaways from this video we can read in these GeoJSON file formats and we can read them in from the disk as well as from uh, the URLs via an HTTP request and of course once we have that we can do standard pandas operations such as finding the maximum and minimum, the average, the standard deviations etc but for the geometry specific columns we can plot them out and we can do a lot of different operations on them that we're going to look at in upcoming videos that's all for now, thanks for watching and uh, check out some more videos if you want, bye